what I really need is to be able to talk to my sister. And she's unreachable. She's in Kaznia. Okay. If Kara was here, what would she say? Okay. If Kara was here, she would tell me that this has always been my dream. And she would say that it's never going to be the perfect time and that despite villains on the loose and martial law, this is a gift. And it would be sacrilege not to accept it. Sounds like you have your answer. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Shirley. Derek Simon, Katie Ross Rogers, and Natalie Abrams pointed out something really interesting in this scene from episode 20 of season 4 of Supergirl. Alex, portrayed by Kyler Lee, says she really needs to talk to Kara about a dilemma she has. Kelly, played by Avi Tesfai, is asking her what would Kara say right now, and Alex knows the answer. She knows the answer without talking to Kara. In the professional language, we call this inner representation. We all have that inner voice of the people closest to us in our hearts and in our mind. We know what they would tell us. Okay, but what does it have to do with grief? Kara is alive. She's just not available in the moment. Alex can talk to her later. She can talk to her tomorrow. She'll be fine. Because this inner representation that we have creates what we call continuing bonds with the ones we miss the most and cannot contact anymore. In grief, these continuing bonds help us maintain what's left in us from the relationship that we lost. I will say more about continuing bonds, how to create them, how to use them in the next video. Or as Kara would say, Kausha. Until then, and as usual, I am very interested to know whose voice and whose inner representation you have in your heart and your mind. So please drop your experiences and opinions in the comments. I promise to respond to each and every one. Thank you for watching and make this a wonderful day.